Folks, well, I've just woken up in the forest here with a sore ass and a couple of dukes in my hand, and I have no idea what's going on. Not sure how long I was out for or what's happened to the world, but it seems like the world's gone to shit. I gathered myself some materials and now I'm here and I have the sudden urge to head in that direction for some reason. But until then, there's a house over here and I want to check it out. Oh, the chicken. Hey, ya That was horrible. Just got to learn how to use these primitive devices. Nailed it. Take that back. Delicious. Quality two bow. Damn right, I'll get rid of this piece of shit and I'll put that right there. Thank you very much. I didn't get the rest of that. There we go. Uh, hello? Is anyone here? That's locked. Can't get in there. Well, I could break in. But, you know. Ah, uh, bugger it. Let's go in. Hello, anyone there? I need some help. I'm very alone and I'm very... Oh, hello. Oh, shit. There's a guy right there. It's one of them damn zombies. Oh shit, I've woken him up. Holy shit, they're falling through the roof. Oh, there's one out here. Buggery, duggery, where'd you come from? Good lord, you're ugly. What has happened to this world? Actually, that friggin' reminds me. I got a little message on my iPad. And uh, it told me I had these four skill points to use. So let's use them up, because it might make... Getting rid of these zombies a bit easier. Uh, let's do a strength. One into strength straight away. Let's do another one into pummel pit. I'm already holding the club, so let's extend that goodness. And um, what's another thing? Let's go straight into advanced engineering because I want to make sure I can get some crafting skills up as soon as possible. Find out what's happening in this weird world. And one more. Let's go into parkour so I can run out and, you know, outrun these creepy bastards. This is probably the wrong way to go, but I'm going... You know, if they've, oh, hello. What are you doing over there? Resting on the job. Get out of here. Oop. That was awkward. Let's pretend that was cool. And do it again. Do I see another one there? I think I do. No, maybe not. Oh, no, it's a, it's a hamper. Never mind. How embarrassing. Oop. No, they've got you. Fireman's Alemannic, Volume 2. Uh, modification deals 25% more damage to blocks. Oh yeah, let's take that. The rest of that one. Got another bow there. Getting all the bows today. Here another Zambi around somewhere. Explosive Magazine, I'll read that right now. Get out of here. Getting a whole lot of candles in this bloody place. Thank you. What else we got? Ah, you son of a bitch. Shotgun Weekly, I'll take that. Yes, please. And another handgun magazine. Excellent. So over to the big house now. Big O house. Let me just check outside first. Make sure there's nothing else to loot. Hey, mate. How'd you get in there? Oh, sneaky, sneaky. Skeagles, I'll tell you that. Actually, what do they do? What do Skeagles do? They give you agility. Ah, uh, let's wear them. Why not? Could use with the uh, extra agility if I need to get away from some of these weirdos. What is that? Nothing. R.I.P. Fluffy, eh? Hello, anyone in the dunny? Ugh. Just shit. Thank you. What is the go here? Oh shit! Not uh, bloody hell! Ow! Okay. Oh jeez. Ah, what's happened? Piss off! God damn it! Oh, he's the shit out of me. Oh well, more meat for me, I guess. Anywho, what a massive waste of my time. Let's go back up. Oh, I see. It's a rope, of course. Ah, that's better. That's stupid of me. Are you alive or dead? You were dead, but alive. Hello? I think we're good. Sports bag here. I'll take you. And piss off, and I'll take the rest. 
Ah, forge ahead. Thank you very much. Dew collector. I can make the dew collector now. That's a win. Some timber there. So the year must be 2034. I have been asleep for a very bloody long time. Okay. That's not a good sign. I, need to, I really need to ask someone what's happened. Hopefully this this magic point over here that I'm drawn to will tell me what, what the deal is. Oh. Hey, bud. Where'd you come from? Son of a bitch. Come down here. Feel like a man. Come on. Come on down. It's nice and warm. You'll love it. You like that? Want some more? You've had enough. Rifle World Magazine. Excellent. And I think that's pretty much it for loot. Um, I think it's time to get out of here and go and see what's happened to this weird, weird world. Very slowly, apparently, because I'm highly encumbered. I'll see you there. Okay, so it looks like this is the spot. Jen's clinic. Hopefully Jen knows what uh, what's happened to this world and why all these uh, ugly, annoying dead people are around um, kind of pissing me off. Alright, so let's go inside. Hi Jen, are you Jen? So, what are you buying today? Well, oh you're a shop- okay, I see you're a trader, gotcha. Um, while we're here, might as well sell some of the stuff that I don't need, and I've just accomplished something. Uh, get rid of lead for now, we don't need that. And while we're here, we'll get ourselves a job, because it looks like she gives jobs out. Um, I don't know, let's just go to the closest one. I guess I can do one, but I, I would really want to make myself somewhere to live, a base. Because at the moment I feel quite, you know, vulnerable. So let's go to the closest thing around, let's go to clear I that. I think I've got at a job Malone too. Residence. If you finish two more jobs this week, I will give you Employee of the Month. Nice. Thanks, Jen. All right. Well, uh, Jen didn't really help me out too much about what's happening in this place, but we need to get out of here. Oh, what do these do? Ah, oh, okay. I can buy stuff. I've got no coins other than those dukes that I, you know, got from the start. So while the mystery continues, let's go and complete this job for Jen. She seems nice. And uh, get rid of the riffraff that's hanging around outside her place. You asshole. All right, let's go to this job for Jen, and I'll uh, come back and set up a base. I'll meet you over at the job. All righty, here we are in the Malone residence. So uh, I'm just going to check this uh, for a book, and I got one here. It uh, does uh, craft uh, fireman's helmets t and take 5% less damage when wearing them. Nice. I'll read that straight away. And I do feel like if I hit this quest button right here, let me just see if there's anything back in the mailbox. Cheeky cheeky. And they're hap- Ooh, batter her up. Actually, that works really well. Uh, bats and clubs degrade 20% uh, slower. That'll work out really well because I am using the club. So, now that I've pressed that, let's go inside, clear this uh, place out, and we'll head back to Jen, and then we'll um see if she's got any goodies for us. <laughs> bunch of stuff here. Okay, so we seem to be at the main loot here. I'm gonna loot this, but I'm it's getting quite late, so I might stay here for tonight, and then tomorrow I'll head back to Jen and, and see what she can say, and hopefully get a bit of a reward for doing that job for her. And then I guess the base will have to wait until tomorrow. I don't plan on doing too much uh, with the base, just something nice and basic. Get me out of trouble while I work out what's going on. Ooh, armor. I am gonna definitely wear that right now. And I'm gonna read Pistol Pete Volume 2. Awesome. I probably should have read what that did, but I didn't because I... Uh, I'm an idiot. Anyways, one more and then we're good to go. And another get hammered. Okay. I could go to hammered... Uh, I could go to a sledgehammer later on if I if I get sick of the club, but for now I'll stick with the club and see how I go. This is the loot I got from the house. I got a level 3 spear there. Um, 
Furious Fist I found. I might sell that back to Jen when I get there. Oh, I want to read that one though. Improves repair tool crafting skill, so definitely want to read that one. And not too much else, just a bunch of smattering of crap that I'll send back to Jen. But uh, like I said, until tomorrow morning, I'll just wait up here and then I'll go see Jen in the morning. we survived the night. I think it's time to head over to Jen's and uh, tell her we've finished her uh, little job there and hopefully she'll have a reward for us and that's time to start on that base as soon as possible. Let's go do it. Okay, Jen should be open now so let's go inside and uh, tell her we've done that quest for her. I'll shut that. Hey Doc, what's going on? Wow, I didn't think you had it in you. I know, Good right? Good job. Thanks. Uh, let, let's take a pipe bomb from that. Uh, ten pipe bombs, why not? Uh, that seems like a good option. While I'm here, I might as well get another job. Uh, let's do clear at the Wets residence. You know, I always admired a hard... I had a good feeling about oh, you. I should have let her finish. She was good about luck. to say something really awesome and I cut you. I'm sorry, Jen. What was that? You want to say it again? Damn it, how embarrassing. Alright, thanks, Jen. I'll be back with that quest. Uh, I haven't got any money. I got 800, sorry. Uh, eye candy. Loot bonus. Let's buy one of them. Um, anything in the drinks section? Uh, nah, I'll stick with what I got for now. Actually, let's loot up Jen's place and set it back to her because, you know, why not we're here? And then we'll see what we get out of that. I mean, it's just laying around. I might as well just loot it. She doesn't need it all, surely. Right? <laughs> that's, not, that's not weird. Right? Get out of here with that crap. All right. Let me just sell this stuff back to Jen and then we're straight out of here and I really want to get onto the base building as soon as possible. I've done some farming of wood while I was waiting for Jen to open this morning. So I need to put that to use and I want to get myself set up so I don't have to worry about so, that. what are you buying today? Funny enough, I got stuff to sell back to you. You might, you know, it might be, you know, ring a bell, but don't worry about it. Just don't think about it too much. You can have that back. Oh yeah, that's right. I was going to sell the, uh, the Furious Fist because I have no intention on really reading Punching magazines, fisty cuffs magazines. Ah, oh, you want a sandwich? No, you don't. Of course you don't. No one wants that shit. Get that shit now out of here. that was a good deal. I know, right? I'm really thinking just to stay, stick around Jen. I like Jen. So why not build next door? Maybe over this side. I'll have a think about it and I'll, um, I'll show you what I come up with. Okay, so I'm finally done with my hoard and living base for now. It's very basic to start with, but I plan to upgrade it as I go along. It's all in wood, and uh, yeah, I think it's it's not too bad. It's not my best build I've ever made, but it's very basic, and I think it's good for a starter. It's your typical tower base. The zombies will head up these steps. They'll turn along here. They'll go along towards me to my fighting position where I'll fight them off here. Let me head inside, and I'll show you around. Heading up the back ladder here, we have a outdoor deck, which I plan to place a couple of dew collectors, maybe a workbench, that sort of stuff. There's a uh, ladder to the roof where I can put some spikes on. Uh, that'll help with any birds that come along later on. Heading inside, we have our general living area. I have my uh, storage over here. There's a campfire, that sort of stuff. And then we come to our fighting position at the front. I have these shutters I've installed that I can uh, lower if I need to. I can do any repairs or heal up. I've also installed some arches on the side, which I can use for pipe bombs. I got some pipe bombs from Jenny, so I might as well use them during the hordes. And I have two on the side as well. Hopefully that'll stop any zombies sort of attacking the walls as, as the night goes on. 
Welcome back to the beginning. The plan for the next few days is to complete as many quests as possible so we can unlock the bicycle as our tier 1 trader reward from Jen. During the night I plan to continue to work on the base as the day 7 blood moon is fast approaching. If we can unlock the bicycle as soon as possible we may stand a chance of surviving in this dangerous world. We have plenty to do so let's get the day started. Okay, it has just hit morning and we have a lot to do today. Let's get started with that Wet's resident job for, for Jen there. And then we can see how many we can do in one day. Oh, and last night I was spending a bit of time mucking around with the base looks. Uh, I'm not sure how I like it just yet. I'm going to see what happens and then I'll make some upgrades later and I'll let you know. Okay, so here we are, the Wet's residence. Uh, this is where my quest is. Let me just check this bad boy. And we have a tech junkie. On the way here, I found this book, which is uh, learn how to harvest coffins for uh, bones, jewelry, and precious gems. So I'll definitely read that one. And we got a tech junkie book here. Uh, let me hit this quest, and then we'll loot up the uh, letterbox again. If we go back, should be good to have another magazine. I only do the letterboxes for the double looting because it's a bit cheesy. Uh, electrical traps magazine. Awesome. Okay, so let's get in here and get out of here as quick as we can and uh, go see Jen. There you are. I see you there, Jono. Oh wait, we got a mate. Okay, cool. So that was the all the clearing done. Nearly missed uh, Mr. Tuxedo Man here. That worked out well. Here's the main loot, and then I head back down that way. So let's grab this now. Okay, so we're done with this POI. This is what I got out of it. We got a uh, Volume 4 Mining Book, Cancraft, Blackstrap, uh, and Super Strong Coffee. That's pretty handy. Let's take that right now. Batter up. Perfect. That'll be super needed now that we're using the, you know, club. Some big hitters there. I've got two of them. Uh, electrical Traps, uh, Cooking Magazines, Medical Journals, uh, Shotgun Weekly, uh, Tactical Warfare, and a uh, Wiring Book. Everything else is pretty much just standard sort of stuff. Let's head back to Jen and see what she's got for a reward. The name's Jenny. Hey, but Jenny. You can call me. Congratulations. Thank you, Jenny. I can make my payment to the Duke now. Uh, weapon flashlight mod. I wouldn't mind that, but I think I'm going to have the duck bill mod because I am planning to go with the shotgun, I do think. Um, all there is, targets within three minutes have a higher dismember chance for a shotgun. Ooh, both of these are kind of good for the shotgun. Let's go with the uh, the book there, and let's go for, I'm going to sell what I've got here. Uh, I've got this pipe baton, I don't really want, you can have that, you can have that, and that, and that. And let's not sell that. Is there anything else uh, I want to buy before we carry on, before, I think trader day is to, no, tomorrow? Trader day is tomorrow, so I might as well buy anything I can find that Jenny's got. I'll take these books, I'll take these tools, digest books, and anything else, what else do I want? Shotgun Messiah Volume 5. What does that do? Shotguns have 20% less de degradation. <sighs> that could be handy, actually. Let's get that as well. And I don't think there's anything else I want anyway. I would like a flashlight mod for my helmet, but she hasn't got that anyway. She has got a quicken grill, though. Now nah, she hasn't got anything at the moment. Now Tomorrow's uh, trade day, so I'll come back then. Uh, Trust oh, me. Nearly forgot a job. Let's get I another job that. here. Uh, fetch. Uh, what do I want? Clear. Let's get the clear at past and gas store number three. Work. It's the closest one. Do hurry. I have a protection payment coming up soon. All right, calm down, Jen. Let's go to that real quick and we'll come back and see how many we can do in one day. Let's get in and get out. Oh, hi, Karen. I see you there. Hey, take that, Kaza. Ah, yes, a calendar. Actually, I might take that home and put it up in the base just to you know, keep track of the days. That'd be really handy. Okay, so he's good. I can still get the biker if he's still asleep. Let me get my arrows back. Let's 
try and get down here as quick as possible. Oop, I didn't mean to do that. Bugger. Hey, how you doing? Oh, there's three years. Come out here, boys. And a loot bag, bonus. I think that's probably all of them downstairs, so let me just loot up and we'll get out of here. Level four, okay, I'm gonna wear that now and I'll um, probably sell that back to Jen. It's also a metal chain mod, I might put that on my, my club. I still need to find a wrench. I was really hoping to find a wrench with all these toolboxes, but uh, no luck this time. Anyway, that's pretty much it here. Uh, let's head back to Jen and try and get another quest in before the end of the day. Wow, I didn't think you had it in you. Good job. Helmet light mod? Perfect. I'm taking that straight away. That'll be super, super handy. So we got to fetch at Beaver's restaurant. I Let's do that. I would love to. This is dangerous work, but I believe you can handle it. Thanks, Jen. Uh, before I go, let's put our sugar butts in our Jen's water cooler here. Um, I'll probably use them later on. That's a good place to store them. And let's go to the restaurant. Okay, here we are, Beaver's Restaurant. Nothing says yum like a good beaver. There's a bit of riffraff around here. I see a big fatty over here, an old mate here. Let's just get rid of these riffraff and we'll carry on inside. So there is a bunch of cars around this POI. I might just loot these first and see if we can get a double looting and then we'll move forward. I don't know if this Electronics fan's gonna be in the POI area. Let's just find out. So if I grab what's in here, a bunch of magazines. Grab what's in here. Ooh, acid, that's handy. Not this one, damn. All right, let's head inside and get this quest out of the way. Try and get some sneak attacks if I can. Nope. And there goes that idea. Oh shit, where'd you come from? Did not expect that, okay. That's a bit of a dick move. Whoa, double hitter. Okay, so that worked them all up in one go. Okay, we have the satchel. Um, might as well grab the loot while we're here. Wasteland Treasure in Volume 6. This one lets you weave plant fibers into cloth. Okay, that's useful. And I'll take the... Actually, I might wear these right now. has to be one of the most confusing POIs I've been in in a long time. I'm still not sure the correct way to go. I'm guessing that was... Oh, that, I guess we can go this way now because I've turned off... Can I fall down there? I've turned off the uh, fire trap, but I still don't really understand what the... what, what it wants me to do here. I, it is getting kind of late. I might just go to be honest because we do have the, uh, the satchel here. Um, there's probably stuff on the on the roof there, but I've got the main loot anyway, so let's just, yeah, let's just go. Let's head back to uh, base, and then uh, we'll try again tomorrow. Okay, so I made it back home quicker than I thought. Let's, let's quickly get rid of this quest. I'll grab another one for tomorrow morning, and th that'll be the end of the day. What's up, good looking? Uh, amazing! Um, I hope you like your reward. Let's get the Crafting Skill Magazine bundle for this one. Thanks, Jen. I'll grab another one while I'm here. Uh, the only thing left is buried supplies. Oh, okay. You need I some guess work? We gotta do I, it. I had a good feeling about you. I did find a, a level are. three shovel uh, the other uh, before, so that'll come in handy when I can do that. So cool, cool, cool. I think everything else is. Let's just open this right now. Got some big hitters, magazines. I can do a level uh, quality three now, so I might as well make some of them tonight. I got tactical warfare. Uh, pipe gun quality 2 I can do now and we got scrapping for fun and a wrench quality 1. I did find a wrench before on, on the way back so that's all cool. Let's head back to the base and uh, we'll do some work on the base tonight.
Okay, good morning everyone. So I spent the whole night doing some digging and some upgrades to the base. I've kind of run out of timber though. Um, so that's as much as I'm going to do today. Let's head straight to that quest and get as many of them done today as possible. Hopefully, by the end of today, we can have the bike. See you there. Okay, so we are finally here. Uh, bugger running everywhere. I'm getting sick of running and running out of stamina. So the sooner we can get a bike, the, the better. And preferably a mini bike, but we'll see how we go with that one. So let's start this quest. Let's find out where we're going to go. Alright, so let's do the quick trick with uh, putting the boxes down in the corners and see wh where it changes to, and then I'll get to digging. Okay, yeah, we got some, uh, got some zombies here just to make our day a little bit harder, so let's get rid of these before we go any further down. Seems like the treasure's more towards, uh... This way, I think. But anyway, let's get rid of these first. Hello, ladies. Don't fall in the hole, please. Sharon? Or you Karen, I can't remember. I think you're Sharon and you're Karen. If not, you are now. Don't go down there. Wait. I said don't go down there. Not do go down- Are you dead? Ah, here we are. Excellent. So let's grab these. I might actually read this before I take it. So it's this a uh, improves uh, seed crafting skills. Not super useful, but I'll take it anyway. And I'll use these because I need some food, actually. I forgot to have breakfast on the way out. So let's have that now before we jump out of this hole and probably going to spawn some more zombies in. Uh, we'll see. I can hear some. That's definite. So let's, uh, let's get ourselves prepared. Not too many. But uh, let's finish these up and let's let's head back. Come on, Jason. Come on, Barry. Come on. There we go. And a loot bag as well. Thank you very much. And I'll scrapping for fun. I'll take that. And oh, I could actually drink that now. Let's do that. Okay, perfect. So that's all done. Let's head back to Jen's and get our reward. You again? I knew you had it in you. Oh, not the awesomest. I might take the painkiller, to be honest. That will always come in handy because a lot of concussions, or I could get a... Actually, I might get the 9 mil. Let's do that because I have the pistol, so let's get that. And let's give me some more jobs. Thank you, Jen. Let's go. Clear. We got to clear. We got to fetch buried supplies. Let's stick to clear at Moe's Grocery. I've got a bit of a problem. Can you... Oh, this is a dangerous one. Try not to, um, get radiated. You say that all the time, Jen. So let's head straight over to Moe's and I'll see you there. Yep, yep, and here we are at Moe's Grocery. Actually, I really like that sign. I might try and see if I can take that one. If I hit that, will I be able to steal that and use it at home? Yes, cool, cool. Also saw this one. Can I take this? I can take that. That'll be very um, useful uh, in my base just to make it, you know, look less drab. And it seems to be the way in over here. So let's just hit this and let's carry on with it. Is that someone little footsie I see there? Or a hand? Sure is. Look at that, Darren. Dazza. Ooh, a target. I do like that target. I'll take that as well. This place is a gold mine for our posters and things. Can I have that? Oh, maybe not. Oh well. Come on out. Big night out. What are you doing in here? Oi, that's a bit of a... Oh, look away. I'm a gentleman. Shit, what was that? Where'd you come from? Shut up. In terms of posters, this place really is a gold mine. I'm going to take that one and uh, what are they? Whole wheat uh, pretzels. Hell yeah. Let's take all them back to the base, make it look like a... I don't know, probably won't be hungry all the time, but it'll look better. So now we're into the, the main loot area. Son of a bitch. Come on, Karen. You ruin everything, Karen. All Karens ruin everything. Someone else is here? Who's there? Darren. Big Dazza. Okay, so now we're clear and we're free to loot. So I'll loot up the rest of this stuff and we'll crack on. Forge your head. Ooh, double pocket mod. Bruh. 
Excellent. Tell you what, having this um, this headlight lamp is a it's a godsend. So dark usually, and I think we're good. So it's time to head back to Jen straight away and do another one if we can, if we have time. We we probably do. So let's definitely do that. I am very very encumbered though. Oh my bad. That was a triple pocket mod for the armor. Excellent. That'll really help out with my encumbrance. So I'm glad I found that. That was that's a big win. Nice. And let's just chuck that back on. Okay, now we can head back to Jen's. Hi again, Jen. We've got the best. Don't spend it all in one place. Um, 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 um sure it's spear here. hunter. I'm not really using a spear, so I don't want to do that. Armor plating mod. I might take that. That's not too bad. It's either that or the grave digger mod. Let's do the armor plating mod. That could be useful. And I'll grab another job while I'm here. That's the whole point of today. And let's go with the fetch at I am gone. I've never been here. I am gone funeral home. I would love to get. Okay. Be careful, and try not to get yourself killed. Anything I want to sell to Jen? I don't think so. So let me just stash all this at home, and then we'll crack on with our last quest for today. Hey, hey buddy. Oh, I, could, I, I might be able to get some um, um, precious gems out of that, that casket. Ah, another batter up there. So I can turn that off, I'm guessing. And I've woken someone up. Hey, buddy. Not quite done. You're medium rare. Oh, I ordered rare. Tells me there's gonna be some pterodactyl fuckers up here. What's up here? You look suspicious. Ah. Oh, shit. Alright, that got me. Sneaky little shithead. Okay, there's the satchel. Oh, hello. What's up, Karen? Didn't see that. Whoa, that was a fail. What's going on? <laughs> Alright, let's just jump out here. I'll risk it. See if I can not hurt myself. Perfect. Okay, so that's it for the POI. I'm just going to do a little bit of loot uh, stock take here. I've got a medical, medical journal there that I picked up from one of the areas. I won't read the knife guy. I'll send that, sell that back to Jen. i got an advanced muffled connectors mod. I'll put that on my armor. I'll use the crippler mod on my pistol. And I'll do all that a bit later. And I'll read this now. And let's rejuggle everything around. Okay, cool. Everything else I can sort out later. So let's go back to Jen straight away and grab our... You know, final quest reward for the day. Okay, we're back with Jen with plenty of time to spare, so let's uh, get this done. I am. Here's your pay for a job well done. Let's go the Duckwind mod this time, because I didn't go it last time, so I'll take it this one, and I finally get the bike. Hell yes. No more walking for my fat ass. Welcome back to the beginning. The plan for the next few days is to gather as many books and magazines as possible to increase our selected skills before our first horde night on day seven. Now that we have the bicycle, we can power ahead with our trader quests while completing a little mining on the side. As you can tell by the lightning around me, there is a lot to get done in a short amount of time. So let's start episode three. I've been up all night and I've been riding around on my bike since I've got it and I've, I've gone to every single uh, letterbox I could find in the entire town and I have got myself a whole bunch of books and magazines. Let me just get upstairs and I'll show you what I got. So we have two armored up magazines. We've got another mining book where we take 50% less damage from collapsing mines and mining tools do 10% more block damage. A machine gunner, uh, automatic weapons have 20% less degradation. We have uh, Magnum Enforcer Volume 4, so uh, bartering with a .44 gun drawn gives you 5% better deal. I think that does include the pipe pistol, so that's a win. I am definitely going to read that one. Got some handy land there. 
Uh, forge ahead. We have a uh, handgun magazine, improves handguns and skills. Uh, we can do pipe pistol quality two now. Uh, inflict 10% more damage with the nine mil weapons. Excellent. Uh, Needle in the Thread Volume 7, is this the one with the- yes, Double Pocket Mods. Excellent. Finally, I get to use them up. Um, I don't know if I can craft them. No, I think I need the workstation for that. That's not ideal, but we'll see how we go. Got some medical journals there. We've got a batter up. Uh, power attacks to legs slow enemies. Nice, I've already read that one. Uh, we've got clubs, 20% chance of ragdoll enemies. Excellent. Uh, big hitters. Bow Hunters Magazine. Rifle World Magazine, uh, Scrapping for Fun, Shocker Messiah Volume 2, Craft Special Ammunition Used to Breach Secure lock, uh, secure Blocks Like Doors and Safes. Hell yeah, let's read that one. Spear, I won't read that one. Heist, Find 10% More Dukes in Cash, Safes, and Registers. Awesome. Do 10% more damage to bears if I ever want that. There's a hunting journal there. I've already read that one. And we've got a Tools Digest. We can now do Stone Tools Quality 4. Awesome. That was definitely worth it. Uh, I advise anyone who picks up a bike, to go around and just get as many magazines as you can because you're going to use it in the in the early game more than later on. So let me get downstairs and let's sort out today. So it looks like I can craft a forge. So let's get one of them crafting. I'm definitely going to put that down. How far away am I from the workstation? Workbench rather. Oh, I can build that. Uh, what's holding me back? Okay, yeah, so it's forged iron that I need. So with the uh, with the forge down, I should be able to get some forged iron ready. Let's place that outside, I think. Do I have room inside? Uh, no, let's go outside. Let's do that. Awesome. So I'm going to make myself some uh, forged iron as quickly as possible. The plan for today, I want to head over to Jen and I can I unlock the uh, secret or the special job. And there'll be another trader around which I can go and find out. Let's go find out who that is and we'll take it from there. Okay, good morning, Jen. I have bring over a bunch of stuff I'm going to sell back to Jen um, while I'm here. And while we're here, we need to get that quest We've to find the, the other trader. We've got in the wasteland. Uh, so while we're here, let's do the special opening I trade routes. Would, I had a good feeling about you. Ah, uh, yeah, you did. Good luck. Uh, so let's sell this stuff. Uh, so I pretty much don't need any of this currently. So sell. And let's double check, see if we want anything to buy from Jen. Uh, restock day is day seven, so I just want to. I could buy a cooking grill, but I think I can make one anyway. Now I've got the forge, so no, nah, I think we're good from Jen you currently. You stock up on medical supplies. There's a zombie apocalypse out there. No shit, Jen. And uh, no, nothing in there I really need. So let's go and see where this extra trader is, which is that way, and I'll uh, I'll meet you there. Oh, all right. Hey, Karen. Um, so here we are. It seems to be another trader, and it's not Jen. Another Jen. Oh, Trader Joel's. Uh, you loot, I shoot. Okay, he sounds lovely already. Let's go inside and introduce ourselves and see what he's got for us. He might have other jobs as well. So I can have uh, jobs from Joel here and jobs from Jen as well. This is a pretty nice compound, actually. Nice. Let's go up and say hello. Hey, Joel. How you doing? Well earned, traveler. Well earned. Awesome. So while I'm here, I'm just going to check his inventory. Um, so he's got some different stuff to gen completely. So we've got some chest armor. I'm pretty good with that armor-wise. Uh, big hitters. Let's buy them straight away. Nothing else really tickles my fancy too much right yeah, now. Come back now. So while we're here, let's get a job from Joel. And let's go... Oh, there's another Wits residence. I've already done that. So let's go something different. Let's go um, clear at the... Century outlet. I've got just the task for you. Well, alrighty then. Let's get the ball rolling. All right, let's go to this job and um, we'll see what we can get up to. What kind of mischief? Okay, so here we are at the clearance uh, outlet. I think it's a bunch of, it might be a couple of buildings all in one. And there's a whole bunch of uh, zombies around here. Let me just clear out this area because I'm not real comfortable having these guys watch me work. And I'll be right inside. A couple of Darrens. Whoops. Ran a stamina. Gotta watch that. Take that, Daz. 
All right, so let's head inside and clear ourselves some sub guy and top ins. Okay. After reading that book, I should get more out of this. Okay, that's a nice little haul there. I should be able to get myself some a nice amount of food and clothing from uh, all these little clearance. Oh, hey there, Sally. Oops, that's awkward. I really gotta work on my arrows skills like that. Oh, I see. Yes, yeah, so they're all definitely all joined together. So this should be quite interesting. Is that a, oh my god, a college ja jacket? Yeah, I, I can't speak. I'm that excited. Yes, I'm definitely gonna wear that bad boy. I think that just increases my speed. Run speed. Yes, 10% on run speed. Excellent. That is a sick find. Look at me go. Zoom. All right, that's enough noises. Is this kind of, some kind of sus kind of computer lab, or is it just me? It's maybe just the day call. Hi, friends. Ooh. Get you. Uh, look at your ghibli bits. Ooh. You had a creepy scream there for a second. I'm gonna grab these up because I think I get some leather out of them. So I got some zombies beating on the uh, fence over here, which is really annoying, but I don't really want to jump down there just in case I got to walk all the way around. So I'll keep going this way. I think it wants me to jump over to the uh, sub guy now. Oh, hello. There's a birdie boy there. Oh, hi. Oh, shit. I didn't notice you. All right. That woke everyone up. Come on down, team. The, oh, shit. All right, this is, uh, before you get up, I really want to increase my stamina capabilities. Ah, oh, damn it. So just like that. I need to pay attention. Pay attention to stamina. Oh, there's the main loot. Nice. Okay, is that's the area clear. Let's loot up and I'll show you everything I get. Can I get up there though? Do I need to get up there? I did get that extra point into, um, parkour so I can jump that extra block up, which is super handy. What the hell? Hello? Oh. Brace mod. There seems to be a lot happening up here, but... They're not quite here yet, so let's loot up down here, and I'll go and sort these... ...annoying buggers out. What are you doing in here? Hey! Stop that! Oop. Stamina. Ow! Karen. Right, before we head over back to Joel, I'll show you what I pulled out of that. I got a, uh, learn how to craft puffer coats in this edition, so, yeah, sure, I'll read that. And big hitters, definitely two of them. I can now do quality five. Hell yeah, that'll help. And handgun magazine as well. Ooh, baseball bat. Hello, that's what we want. Hell yeah, so it actually worked out really, really well. Everything else is just a smattering of stuff. Let me scrap all this stuff. And let's head back to Joel's and see if he's got a reward for us. Joel, mate, what's going on, buddy? I've done that job for you. We um, have great. Now we're cooking. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So let's go do spear hunt. No, I don't want that at all. Cobblestone could be handy. Um, or the crafting steel magazine. Let's get the magazines because we're on a bit of a magazine train and I'm getting thirsty. You come back sometime. Cool, cool. Actually, let's loot Joel while we're here. And we'll go from there. I see some books on the table there. I wonder if I can get in there. That must be Joel's little house. Um, maybe that's another idea for another video coming soon. Uh, uh, uh. Anyway, so what did I get out of that? I got a bunch of magazines. Vehicle Adventures. Uh, get Hammered. I can do Stone Sledge. Meh. Handy Land. Forge Ahead. Two of them. Uh, lock picks I can make now. That's pretty handy. Two armor magazines. And while we're here, let's do open this uh, crafting bundle. So we've got tools digest, two of them, two forge ahead, and two tech planet. Okay, so we made it home nice and safe. Um, I think tonight I'm just going to spend some time. Oh. Just to let you folks know, the Trader Joe's closing soon. Damn, Jim's got a real deep voice sometimes. So basically, I'm going to spend the night doing up my um, some upgrades to the base. Maybe get these to cobblestone. I want to make this whole wall cobblestone if I can. I don't know how much cobblestone I got, but I can dig some more over here. And in the morning, 
We're going to head out and we're going to do some quests. And we, we're going to get ready for day seven because it's fast approaching. So I'll see you in the morning. Shit. Okay, good morning. I've spent the entire night uh, doing some um, upgrades to the base and doing a lot of digging over there. And I've got the entire front pretty much in cobblestone, which is where I'm going to leave it for my first horde night. I do want to upgrade these hatches to uh, steel as soon as I can. So I'm going to need to do some farming because I don't have a lot of steel or iron rather. So that is one of the goals for today. The other goal is I already got a job off Jen. I was over there before and it's down that way. It's at the sweet honey farms, I do believe. And I'll show you what else I've done upstairs. I have installed the workbench here. And actually, I think I got some mods. Yes, I got these two mods crafting, so I'll chuck them on. I'll put this one on my bat. Uh, gives me a bit of uh, stamina reduction there. And I'll put the other one onto my uh, hatchet here. Awesome. So with all that done, let's go and do... I think I'm going to do some mining first over here. Then we'll head over to the quest that way. And then we'll see how we go for time. Okay, and here we are. Yes, this is the spot. I picked this spot because I found some iron on the map and right next to some lead as well. So I'm going to do some quick mining, get all this uh, while I'm here. I forgot to mention I did make the baseball bat, so that's quite a big upgrade. And uh, on the way here, I broke down a car and I found some uh, cloth, which reminded me I really need a lot of cloth. I want to make some double pocket mods. So hopefully at the honey farms over there, there's something I can break down for cloth. But until then, let's get to mining. Okay, this definitely looks like the place. Uh, sweet, sweet honeypot farms. There's a Darren over here. Um, so basically, yeah, let's get in here and do this. Is there anything worth... I've, I've already looted the mailboxes because I do that all the time. Uh, let me get rid of Darren. What do you want, Dazza? So I spent a bit longer than I wanted to uh, mining, but I got a whole bunch of iron which I've chucked back home into the forge. So let's get this done and get back home. clear. Okay, so I've got a whole lot of looting to do. And I'll um, take stock of what we got. I want to get as much cloth as I can in this whole POI. And then we'll see how we go. Look at all these beds though. Excellent. So because I'm so full, let's get rid of some of these books. I've got some tools uh, tools digest. Scrapping for fun. I can make stone quality 5 now uh, for the tools. Uh, scrapping for fun. Journal magazine. Armor up. Furious fists. And home court weekly. Uh, Probably didn't need to read them, but I did anyway. Um, I'll get the XP out of it. And I've got these boots, which I'm going to wear, bugger it. I've also got this uh, Improved Fittings mod schematic, so I can read that one and give myself a bit of room. Now let's continue the looting. Can I not go back this way? Oh, there we go. Yep, so I'm pretty much full, so let's get out of here and get back home, because it's, it's getting pretty late. Okay, so it's officially night time, and I've made my way back home. Uh, one thing I did pick up in that uh, the honey place was this uh, pipe two, uh, level 2 pipe shotgun, so that's pretty awesome. And I got myself a basketball hoop for, you know, shooting hoops in my downtime. I might put this out the back here somewhere. Because it's night time, I have a plan. I might go over to where Trader, Trader Joel is, because there's another town uh, over this way. And I might do the whole riding around bike uh, at night and getting all the magazines and books I can because that worked really well in this area. So I might just do it over there and that's what I'm going to do uh, for tonight. And then after that, it'll be another day of questing and it's really just getting ready for the day seven horde. I'm pretty much done. I just need to make these hatches and then we're good to go. So I'm going to do that right over to Joel's area and do that uh, questing for books. And I'll see you in the morning and I'll show you exactly what I pick up. Okay, I'm finally back after 
one hell of a night. Um, I All I did was go around the area that Joel was in, and I just got all of this. Let's go through that real quick. But I got some Forge Ahead, Get Hammered, Handy Land, two of them. So I can learn how to make tank tops, shirts, and hats. So I'll read that one. Night Stalker, gain 5% uh, more XP from night kills. Excellent. Uh, Pistol Pete, Volume 3. You are now accurate when rapid firing 9mm weapons. Reading that one. Rifle World. Uh, scrapping for fun. Uh, sharp Sticks, I won't read that one. I will go for Shotguns do 10% more damage. Definitely going to read that one. Craft Military Stealth Boots, which have no stamina penalty, moving and reducing noise. That's pretty awesome too. Reading that one. Vehicle Books. And I have a spattering of all other stuff. There's a couple of cars that I broke down along the way and a couple of Zambies to take take out. But let's go sell this back to Jen, give her back her quest and get one more because it is day six and the Horde Night is tomorrow. I knew you had it in you. Good work. Dang right. Ooh, crossbow. Do I want crossbow? Um, um, um. Although the iron crossbow is tempting, I think I'll go with this crafting bu uh, bundle just because I don't need forged steel yet and I would like the crossbow but I kind of feel like it's a bit of overkill currently because the bow is fine. So let's go the crafting bundle. Get another job while we're here. It's probably a stupid idea, but let's go infested clear at denacinated. What did he say? Hey! Oh. I've got a bit of a problem. Fantastic. Hope to see you soon. Hopefully I don't die in this quest because it could be a little bit more than I need. Let me just check this before I go any further. Uh, sugar butts. Uh, you know what? Let's grab them. And eye candy. While we're here, why not? Okay, let me go back to the base and I'm going to stash this stuff and I'll see you at the denacinated, the, 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 uh, the domicile, that place. Um, see if I can sneak a couple. There's the main loot there. See if I can get someone in here, because I guarantee there will be. Oh, hello. Um, let's try and take out the soldier if I can. Okay, go, go, go. Yeah, will give me some time. I can get some rounds into them as I go. I don't know why I'm using that. Go. Go, 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 go. See if I can drag him outside again. Come on down, team. Oh, I hope they didn't break the loot. I really, really hope they didn't break the loot. Okay, so this stuff's okay, and that box is okay. I think we're okay. Um, let me just loot up here, and I'll show you exactly what I got. Alrighty, I was just about to leave, and I thought I'd loot this container here, which was where the dogs were, and I uh, wasn't recording, because I wasn't expecting that. So that was a thing that happened, but I got out okay, I guess, and this is everything I picked up for the entire raid. I just realized that I haven't opened my crafting, uh, crafting bundle there, so we'll go through that. A uh, couple of armored up, craft basic resources into, uh, like stone and wood into more compact stacks. Handy land, scrapping for fun. So shotgun weekly, I've got some farming, got some tech planets, uh, urban combat. Learn to craft cigars, awesome, that's awesome. I really want a cigar and Jen hasn't had any yet, so that's, that's a win. Some wiring magazines there. Uh, I've got a schematic for a bunker buster. 25% uh, more damage against stone, that's pretty awesome. Let's open up this crafting skills. Uh, tactical warfare. Two of them, handy land. Cool, so that was everything uh, from that. Oh, sorry, get hammered. Can't forget that. And that was everything. So, pretty good haul. That was pretty fun. Uh, I need to get back because it's getting pretty late. And hopefully I'll have time uh, to give the quest back, but I don't know if I will. So if I don't, that's fine, but I need to get ready for tomorrow because tomorrow is horde day. Okay, let's see if I can just run back in real quickly. Hey, Jen. Good job. Uh, I knew you could do it. Shotgun ammo for this one. Just for the horde. And I won't get any jobs. I'll be out of here. And because it's about to go uh, night time. So tonight I'm going to do some work around the base. And I'm going to make myself some steel hatches that I'm going to put on, on the front there. And that'll be pretty much it. And then I'm just basically going to wait out until tomorrow where all the fun begins. So I'll see you tomorrow morning. When I've done all that, I can't think of anything else I want to do around here, so I think we're good. I think we're in a good space, so I'll see you in the morning. Oh wow, a horde just came through here. 
I was just finishing um, um putting um my spikes in the roof. I don't think I'll need them for the horde day. Um unless birds come along, but there is a whole bunch of zombies down there. I kind of feel like I want to go and take him out. So let me just finish doing this. And I might run down and say g'day. Oop, nearly walked back on the spikes there. Now, this is probably not the best idea because I can't really get up on the roof and uh, repair anything, but we'll see how we go. So while they're over here, let's go and say hello to everyone. Let's try and bring them over here if I can. Come over here, everyone. Come say hi. Where are you going, Sharon? I have no idea where those bullets are going. Oh well. So let's go to the front. Let's double test my um my system here. Come on down, team. How are ya? Morning. Okay, so they're all tracking up here, okay, which is nice. Um, hopefully they're gonna beat on the side there, because I haven't upgraded that. That's one thing I should do today, is uh, at least get the sides up to cobblestone. Yeah, they're beating on something down there. Okay, cool. I've also... Oh, she's coming back. What are you doing over there, Karen? Ah, I won't waste them. So, I've also got the steel hatches, uh, which we can replace right now before I forget. That's nice. And these ones for sure. Yes, much better. I did find out recently that I do believe cops are attracted to hatches, so that might go bad for me, but we'll see how we go. Hopefully no cops come in the first night. I can't imagine they would, but you never know. So there's the hatches all done up, uh, the, which would give us way more protection than, than the timber ones, which is great. Let me go see. I want to get rid of Karen because she's kind of annoying me. Come here, Karen. Okay, that symmetry kind of annoyed me a little bit, but that's that's much better. Cool. So, uh, I've pretty much done all the upgrades I can think of uh, for the first horde. Oh, that's annoying. Let me just get rid of that. It'll be the same on the other side. And then, let's go see Jen, get ourselves a quest, and we are good to go. All right, good morning, Jen. Hopefully you've got somewhere to bunker down tonight, because it sounds if like it's going to uh, get pretty wild. under the weather, I've got just what the doctor ordered. Oh, do you now? Uh, don't worry about me. You are about you tonight, Jen. Okay? So, any jobs? Let's go fetch and clear. That could be infested clear. So, let's go fetch and clear at the Nareen residence. I need someone who's willing to... Oh, I would kiss you, but, um, you know, apocalypse hygiene and all. Damn. Okay. Thanks. That makes me feel so much better. All right, let's go to the Nairin residence, and I'll see you there. What's with the words that I can't say in this uh, last few days? I mean, I'm just not good at speaking. Hi, Jenny. Quickest job ever. Um, but yeah, let's get this done. Congratulations. I can make my payment to the Duke now. Ooh, a hunting knife. Let's go hunting knife, because I can replace my bone knife there. Just want to double check she's got anything. Restock day is today, that's right. So let's see if I can buy anything. I'll take one of your waters while I'm here. Pretty thirsty. Ooh, nerdy glasses for 3,000 dukes though. Okay, so I'm something to think about later on though. You know what, bugger it. Let's get a, let's get a cooking grill. So we can cook up all the meat we have. Uh, a guarantee now I'm going to start finding them, but that's just the way it is. I'm going to grab all your, sh not all your shotgun uh, ammunition. Let's go 20 of them. Everything else is pretty much stock standard. Cool, well, cool, you cool. You just brighten my day. You brighten mine I'm every day, Jen. You. Oh, and it's begun. So let's head back to the base. I uh, don't think I want anything there. Head back to the base and do the final checkups. And then we basically just wait for the horde night to begin. Okay, it's, it's really starting to get quite creepy now. I can hear the lightning and everything. So I'm just going to do some quick repairs on the base before uh, any, any zombies come along. Damn. I, so there's a bit there. Oop, make sure I don't go to concrete. And I think we're all good for repairs. Let me just check this side. I'm going to quickly head back to Jen real quick because I want to get myself a learning elixir. Um, I realized I could probably, you know, double my XP for the night. The name's Jenny, but you can call me Dr. Jen. Hey, Jen, I'm going to get one of these. Let's head back real quick. I need to get myself sorted because I'm getting a bit nervous. It's all happening. Actually, wouldn't mind upgrading this door. Um, can I make myself... 
a... I would like to make an iron door. I could make one. I do have a fair bit of forged iron, so I'm going to make myself one of these, and I'll upgrade the door. Excellent. That's much better. I feel much safer now. Okay, so that's pretty much it. I've got everything repaired. I've got a whole bunch of uh, snacks if I, um, I can use along the night. Hopefully that means Jen's bunkering down because uh, it's going to get pretty heavy over here. I might just shut these while I'm waiting. Let's get this done and kill these damn zombies. I'm going to use one of these learning elixirs, so I can double my XP and while I'm going, and I'm going to have a coffee as well. And let's get straight back into it with some melee. So slow on the reload, I need, really need to invest more in uh, a couple more uh, shotgun perks. I think it's time for some pipe bombs now. Let me just shut this. Let's open this up. Pull down there. Excellent. Let me just see where they're hitting. Uh, using my outside camera. Okay, they're definitely tracking okay. Maybe they're just beating on the on the side of the wall as they fall down there, which is which is fairly normal, which is exactly why I put those those extra blocks there. I go around the side as well. Okay. Something to think about uh, when I do some changes in the base. Okay, cough is worn off. Let's have another one. And straight back into it. I just realized I had four skill points that I should really use right now. They could probably come in handy. Now I've got five points. Let's quickly use them real quick. Pummel Pete for sure. We're going to put, what else can we put in? Boomstick while we're here. And I might just dump the rest straight into, okay, let's put the rest straight into strength. One, two, three. Okay, that should really help us out. I don't know why, I completely forgot about that. I was, I was, I was panicked before. So that should get some nice movement on the bat there. Damn, actually, I think it's done a lot. Damn it. Gotta watch that. Ow, that actually hurt. Might it repair myself from that one? Jeez. Oh no, my candle. Not the candle. All right, let's let's focus here. Let's focus. All right, get off there. What are you swinging at? Go away. It seems like the base held up okay. Let's go outside and check these loot bags. But before we do that, let's have our eye candy. Maybe increase our odds of finding something good. I didn't actually, didn't actually use my skull crushes, but that's okay. Uh, maybe next time. Let's go out and see what we got in our loot bags and just double check that we haven't uh, actually lost anything. I don't think they even broke any blocks completely. Okay, nothing too exciting at the loot there. Got an armored up magazine there, which I'll read straight away, and a bunch of other stuff. Nothing awesome, but you know, we'll take it. In terms of damage in the base, I think we turned out. Not too bad. We got a couple of 
damage spot here. I did notice that a couple of zombies were stuck in this area. Um, I might need to change this design peel because they did sort of hang around here too long. And I didn't find them beating on this side a lot as well. Yes, yeah, so these this, this block here is pretty much half gone. So we can repair all these up. And but yeah, all in all, not too bad. So we survived the night. I think that went okay. Not not too bad. There's a couple things I want to change, but we'll uh, we'll get to that in good time. I hope Jen's okay, but I'll go find out. So there's a horde right there. The bear is the epitome of strength. With a single swipe of its powerful claw, a soft fleshy human like myself can see what we are truly made of. By that I mean your guts will be all over the ground for you to see. Watching this animal of pure dominating power decimate this helpless Canadian Zambi filled my soul with a determination to be as strong and as powerful as the bear. In seven days to die that can only mean one thing. It is time to craft the cigar. However, this will not be a simple crafting task, as the main ingredient in cigars is testosterone extract, which, as you might have guessed, can only be extracted from the king of the animal kingdom, the bear. I would need to put myself in harm's way at this very bear, just like this helpless Zambi. I can only pray that I don't end up a second corpse rotting in the snow. But before we reach this part of the story, we need to go back to where we left off from our last adventure. The days following our first Blood Moon Horde. So I've been hanging out at Joel's side of town uh, lately, uh, doing a bunch of stuff. Uh, find another trader. I found another trader named Hugh, and I did a few jobs for Joel and got myself uh, two water filters. So now I can make two Jew collectors, which is really, really, really good, because I'm pretty getting pretty low on water. Water's water's a thing, and so is cloth. I've also just finished off running around uh, all the city here and getting all these newspaper magazines and everything. And there's a whole bunch of zombies around. Let me clear this. So much better now that I've put some points back into my, my bat usage. Come here, Karen. Might as well get you as well. Oh, damn it. So I can actually one hit most of the weaker zombies, which is nice. And for today, what should we do? I think, I'm thinking I, I still need some more cloth. As weird as it sounds, I've got a lot of cloth, but I still need more. So I think I might go hit up a uh, savage country that I saw while I was running around town doing some, some errands. And uh, I've just got to find out where it is, and that'll go from there. Have I checked these? No, I haven't. There are so many damn magazines in this city. It's insane. It's, it's, it's truly insane. Now, where was that savage country? Because we need cloth. So I set out to find savage country to loot for cloth. Little did I realize this would be the most profitable and insane looting experience of my adventures so far. There's a barrel buffet and it should be right next door. Yep, right here. So Savage Country, I'm assuming there's a whole bunch of cloth in here. Damn, better be because that's why I'm here, right? Rugged wear for primal survivors. That's definitely me. So let's get in here. It's not a quest. I, I did check with Hugh if he had this quest on, but he didn't. So I'm just going to go in here and get as much cloth as I can. Um, I don't really have a plan. Let's just rouse everyone up. Wake up, everyone. Hi, everyone. Morning. Come on outside. That's just you, Karen. All right. Get out of here, Kaza. Boys. One at a time, please. If you could, that'd be nice. Tomo, Jono, Cindy, Craig. Oh. Okay, that seems to be quite uh, clear now. Let's let's do some cloth looting. I then spent the next five in-game hours looting everything I could find. I then had to scrap everything down into cloth particles, and it was well worth the effort. What a mish! What an absolute mission! Look at all the cloth I've got. That's just from this one department store. And it's not even finished yet because I just realized there's a door here that goes out the back. 
Um, I'm probably missing some secret stuff, but uh, it's enough for now. Let me just see who's out this way. I see a leg there. It's, it's got to be a candy. Candy, candy, candy. Oh. I see a Timmy there. Oh my lorsh. Alright, let's shut that back up. I just made up a word there, Lorsh. There you go. Um, okay. That didn't go to plan. That's okay. We can, um... She might do this. Got a present for you. Let me just break this a bit more. What if I did this? Burn, baby. Like that? Have another one. Sort them out. Hopefully, I didn't burn any loot there, but that's okay. Hey, bud. Welcome. You enjoy that? Awesome. Okay, some loot as well. I can't believe how much stuff's in this place. I think that's all of them. Let me just double check. I don't want to get caught again. There is a roof, though. God, there's more. Probably going to use about 13 lockpicks on this bad boy, but it's probably going to be worth it. Maybe. I don't know. Let's find out. Hey, two's not too bad. Ooh, a beaker. That's cool. And a treasure map. All right. Knife guy. Meh. Big hitters. Baseball quality three now. Excellent. Hammer up. Bit of cloth. That's all we're here for. Batter up there. Ooh. What happened? Ah, okay, I see. So I maxed out the better up books here, and the last thing I got was uh, power attacks that kill your enemy, refill your stamina. Awesome. Nice. Okay, that's the first thing. That's the first time I actually maxed out something. So that that's... This place is awesome. Oh, why don't it come here sooner? I don't know, but... Anyway, I'm glad we're here now. So there's definitely stop stuff upstairs. Dare I go upstairs? Okay, that's how we get out. Hello? Anybody want to play? Oh, okay. Oh, that's actually better. So I'll take it. Coolies. Okay, so that was well worth the effort. Um, oh. Why did I do that? That was stupid. Don't do that. All right, I'm, I'm officially full. Look at everything I got from that. Nerdy glasses, tough guy glasses, a ton of cloth, some, you know, uh, I got some mods, I got a beaker, uh, I got some weapons as well, I got a level 5 pipe pistol, which I'm definitely going to use. So, that, that was a win. This place was awesome, so I'm really glad I came here. Now, it's time to get out of here, so I think what we're going to do is, I think we might go home. So I might drop all my stuff home, I got a lot of stuff to sort of put away. I'll sort of reset uh, for the night. I think maybe tonight we'll do some stuff on the base and then we'll go from there tomorrow. I'll see you when I get there. After the long day of looting, it was good to get home where I could relax and reevaluate my situation. I had been surviving just fine, but something was still missing. Something wasn't right and I felt incomplete. Using what cobblestone I had left, I upgraded as much of the base as I could. The Blood Moon Horde had shown me several issues with the base and I was motivated to address them. After some warm filling food and water, I moved outside where I could continue with my planned additions to the base. The next step was to remove the blocks around the fighting position that I wasn't happy with. It was at this point I realized what was missing. Slowly chipping away at the concrete block that I accidentally upgraded a few days ago made me think about strength. I'm surviving but I want to thrive. And to thrive, I need more strength. Weakness will get you killed in seven days to die. And I'm sick of feeling weak. The best way to get more strength and to look good while doing it was to get a cigar. If Jen wasn't prepared to sell me one, I was just going to have to go and make one for myself. Morning broke as I completed my base modifications and I stood back to admire the results. While I was happy with my work so far, I needed to get going on my new quest. I had all the ingredients to make the cigar except one. 
the dreaded testosterone extract. I gathered up some supplies for the journey, as well as my machine gun, as I knew there was going to be a fight on my hands. The only way to get testosterone extract is to take it from the corpse of a bear, and I knew exactly where I could find a bear. The snow biome to the northwest. My heart was pounding and my head was swimming as I pedaled towards the snow biome. I feared I wasn't strong enough to take on a bear, but it takes strength to gain strength. So I pushed on into the cold snow. Luckily, it didn't take too long before I spotted a bear lurking ominously in the blinding white snow. The bear was attacking a Zambi, so I used this distraction to maneuver around the bear and climbed a fence on a nearby compound for safety. I fired a few rounds to get the bear's attention. Then I unleashed all I had into the Icon of Strength. Turns out it wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. Regardless, I was victorious, and I jumped down off the wall to claim my prize. And there it is. Not one, but two vials of testosterone extract. I felt unstoppable. No Zambi can stop us now. With energized legs, I made my way back to the base to craft my prize. But I was missing a lot of plant fibers. Luckily, my base was surrounded by grass, so I ran outside and in no time, I had it. I could finally craft the cigar. And oh my God, I looked good and I felt glorious. Okay, so now that we've done all the, um, we've got the cigar, so I'm looking pretty tough. Let's go over to Jen. I want to get some quests out of the way. I think I'm up to level three for Jen. I can't remember, but uh, let's go do something like that because I'm feeling pretty, pretty damn tough. Morning, Jen. Notice anything different? Do me jobs. Let's do a fetch and clear at the goldsmith residence. I think I've got a job or two. Do hurry. I have a protection payment coming up soon. I'm not sure if I've actually been here before, but that should be a good start. And I forgot my bike, so let's go back and grab that and we'll head over to the goldsmith residence. I'll see you there. Okay, so here we are at the goldsmith residence. Let me just double check that I've done the letterbox. Definitely have. So let's hit this quest. Let's get back inside and we'll do this job for Jen. And uh, now I can double check or double loot the letterbox. Uh, electrical traps there and I've already read that one. What is that one? Uh, I can I can weave plant fibers into cloth. Awesome. I thought I could do that anyway. Anywho, so let's go inside. Let's start this quest. Okay, the first thing is to work out where to go inside. Ah, I see. No one in the garage, so I can hear someone so far. Oh, I forgot to get my, um, I didn't grab my uh, bow and arrow. That's okay. I won't use much stealth for this one. I'll have to go through and just do a lot of damage, I think. What's in here? Ah, hello. Toolbox. I haven't seen many of them around. Some fuel and some working stiff tool crate here. Get hammered. And a level 4 quality uh, stone shovel. Anything else in here? I think I've got everything. Cool. So let's head in this way. Got a feeling that, um, well, I can't use the arrows. Oh, that was good. Just had to walk inside. That worked out well. Damn. Must be that cigar. Oh, there's a trap. Oh, okay. There's a hole down there. Okay, so there's another level downstairs. That's interesting. I'll check that out soon. Oh, God. Son of a bitch. Damn. Okay. Glad I didn't fall down there. That would have been annoying. Okay, so let me just finish all up here. One interesting thing that's happened is when I, after I crafted my uh, grill, I figured I would find a bunch of them, but I haven't found any yet. So that's probably a good thing. <laughs> Oh my lord. Who just got me? Okay, that was a bad idea. What's up, Shaz? Hey, you are. 
scared the shit out of me. Oh, shush. Come on, Johnny. Come on, Johnny. I forget your name. Okay, worked out okay. There's the satchel. Some loot up here. Out of here. Okay, so this is the main loot. Okay, so what's downstairs? I wonder. Okay, better up. I already read that one. That's a nice uh, pipe rifle there, level three. Structural brace mod. That's nice. Tools digest there. Another one. And some acid. I can make steel tools now. I think it's time that I do upgrade all my, my stone stuff to at least um, iron. But maybe some steel. We'll see how we go. I don't, it's only level one. It's more acid. I'm finding a lot of acid. Which uh, I don't need yet. But I think I will later on. So that's not a bad thing. There's another spot in here. Is this a uh, secret loot? Did I just find sick? I didn't. I didn't even see that behind there. That was um, a bit of a fluke. Okay. This place has it all. Oh, all right. Not a bad little uh, hideout area, actually. Got a drink in here. Grab the cloth from this, which is always needed. Hidden stash. Excellent forge head and the fire mod. Excellent. I'm going to put that on right now, actually. Uh, actually, can I? I don't have enough. Oh, no, sorry. That's just a schematic. Of course. Yes. Yes. Let's read that. And the forge head as well. Okay, I want to go this way. Well, I'm already working everyone up. Hey, Shaz. Okay, so that was everyone. What is this? Okay, I still hear someone walking around. I don't think I've ever been here before. Okay. Ooh, a purse. Wow. Riveting, totally worth it. All right, so it's probably enough time to head back to Jen and uh, get our reward. Jenny! Still my love. Have I not searched these? Oh. Uh, 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 I'll come back for that. Meds? <laughs> Congratulations. I can make my payment Double to the Duke Double barrel now. shotgun. I'm going to go with the double barrel. Now the job over here. Still buried supplies. I can do it at night. You know, I always admired a... Hard. Cool, so let's go back to the base, drop everything off, and we'll go out and do this quest tonight. And also tonight, I need to do some more... Uh, I need some more cobblestone so I can do updo the base on the sides here. This is the design I've worked out. Because I noticed a lot of the Zambies were getting caught in this corner during the Horde night. So I've put in... Oh, now I'm hungry. i put in these side pieces, which should... W well, it looks a lot better for one, but it should work a bit better. But I won't know until... Uh, day 14, we have another horde night. So let's go upstairs, get all the stuff away, and I'll head up to this buried supplies. I spent the start of the evening crafting a set of iron tools, as well as several structural brace mods to help with tool degradation. After the successful day, I was feeling good about myself, but this feeling was about to be shattered during the buried supplies quest. I made my way over to the quest area where I realized I needed to complete the final 200 meters on foot due to the steep terrain. I reached the quest marker and activated the quest. Instantly, my eye was drawn to a deer standing not too far from the quest area. So I decided to grab myself some meat while I was there. I then stupidly broke the most basic of quest conditions. Did I just... Are you f kidding me? Oh my god. Righto. My blood was boiling. If I can't complete a buried supplies quest, 
I might as well go and dig up some treasure. But I didn't want to make my way there quietly. I wanted to vent my rage on every single Zambi I came across along the way. I eventually calmed down and I arrived at the treasure site. I placed out my marker blocks and prepared for a long night of digging. I picked the center of the circle and started to dig straight down. It really didn't take me too long to find the treasure, as I dug directly on top of it without even noticing. Three lockpicks later, and I was into the juicy loot. Now surely, this amount of loot would attract a large amount of zombies, right? It was one. One suit wearing Drongo named Derek. Yep. Can you believe it? This is me now. With the wind in my hair and the heat of an exhaust at my leg, I was free. Free from all the killing. Free from all the looting. But most of all, I was free to reflect on my journey so far. I had survived the hordes, survived the environment, and I had even survived a bear. I want this freedom to last forever, but something in my heart knows this adventure could end at any moment. You are probably wondering how I got to this state of bliss. Well, to tell this story, we need to go back to early dawn on day 12. Okay, so we're here for a fetch, a tier 2 fetch for Jen. And the plan for today, or the next few days, is to get the mini bike. Uh, as much as I like this little bike, it's getting really annoying. And I think it's time we get some power. To do that though, I've put some points into Grease Monkey. I put two in there. The nerdy glasses will help with that. I've also put some points into Advanced Engineering because I need to make the uh, chem station and the cement mixer as soon as possible. So that's the plan for the next few days. Finish this job, head over to Jen. I've also got a whole bunch of stuff to sell back to Jen because we need some coins. It's probably worth checking the traders, make sure they haven't got a mini bike. I doubt they do, purely because I don't think I'm high enough level yet. Uh, let's just grab this litter box. Get hammered. Wake up, everyone. Whoops. Ooh, a shitty pipe baton. Nice. If I remember correctly, I think this goes downstairs. Yes, because there's a hole out here, which you can see goes down. Where is the... I'm guessing the stash should be over in that building over there. So let's head down here. I'll take this. Probably gonna be a bunch of snakes down here. Yes. Beat it. Let's see if I can get some snake. Nope. No snake attacks. A oh, great time to be thirsty. Oop. That that wood's uh, dangerous. Come here. More nerdy glasses there. Forge your head. Excellent. That's what we're looking for. Ah, there's the grill we keep. Well, we never found, but we made. Oh, hello. Right here. Oh, when did I get this? I didn't realize I got this. Uh, Wasteland uh, Treasures Volume 3 adds a chance to harvest acid from cars, medical equipment, and acid barrels. Hell yeah. I do believe I could have done that downstairs if I had of. Anyway. Books, come on, vehicles. Armor up, that'll do. I probably could go, but I think I might just keep looking around just in case. We're not too far from Jen anyway, so look, might as well just clear the rest of the place. And the main loot. Oh, someone's coming from in there as well. Sup, bud? 
Karen. Oh, Tim. Oh, hey. That ragdoll effect on this on this bat is so handy. It's essentially a repulsor. Oh, I thought you were down. I did not check properly. What's happening, Big Kazza? Scrapping for fun and some uh, steel, which I will need. I don't need sand. All right, so that's pretty much it. And I got a whole bunch of stuff from that, a bunch of books. So let's head back to Jen and finish that quest off. And then we need to go and get ourselves as many vehicle books as possible. Wow, I didn't think you had it in you. Good job. I returned back to Jen and took the wooden bow as a quest reward. I grabbed myself another quest while listening to Jen oh, give me some unexpected sass. If was just looking, I'd be as rich as Trader Joel. After Jen had calmed down, it was time for a loot sell-off to the traders. I smashed down some sugar butts and got down to dealing. My plan was to sell all my books and materials to Jen and then take my armor and weapons over to Trader Joel while my butts were still all sugary. I made it to Joel's with 33 seconds to spare and sold everything as fast as I could. Joel must have been hungover or something because he really wasn't interested in buying my modded scrap chest armor. In total, I ended up with just over 20,000 dukes. Not bad for my first sell-off. While I'm here, I'll take a job anyway. Uh, let's do an infested clear. Let's do Bo's Market. Can you help me with my problem? Well, alrighty. I'll do that later. We're not going to do it let's right now. We've got way too much to do. I need to get myself some magazines. I do have Hugh as well. I haven't been and seen Hugh for a while. Uh, I don't think he has anything. May as well go check just in case, because now we're over this side of town. Joel does have a lot more um, Cracker Book stuff and, and sort of, you know, in the city. I'm going to shut that gate. He just has more stuff in terms of uh, car magazines. And there's also a lot of pa passing gases around. So let's go check them out and then we'll see how we go from there. It's your fault. Okay, we're back with Trader Hugh. Haven't been here for ages, actually. I don't think I've even looted Trader uh, Hugh's compound. So there's another thing we can do. But for now, whoops, not net. Uh, for now, we just need to grab some jobs and try and get some books. Although there is a bunch of stuff. I will have to, oh, I do need to loot them because they might have some Forge Ahead magazines. Hi, Hugh, it's been a while. Too many jobs at anything useful. Nothing. We might as well get these jobs up for Hugh as well. Fantastic. I'm just, it's just a day of getting jobs that I'm not going to actually complete yet. I still have to loot all Hugh's stuff. Let's go and try and find some magazines out here. Um, and then we'll come back for the rest another time. Yes, we can make the cement mixer. That was easy. Awesome. Okay, cool. Wow, well, that was... Much better than I thought it was. Winning. So now all we need to do is get some uh, vehicle magazines. And we are sitting pretty. Alright, that's a good start. So now we need four. Four magazines. <whistles> Damn. Alright, I said I wasn't going to loot this place, but I ended up looting it anyway because, you know, I can't help it. So let's go now. What time is it? It's getting kind of late. And it's going to rain. Uh, we might actually spend the night in the city. Uh, that's probably the easiest thing to do instead of heading all the way back again. Um, hey, Bedaz. I set off to find somewhere safe to spend the night. The cold rain I was riding into was an ominous sign of how much danger this decision would put me in. Hey, Karen. Really? Interesting. Ooh, there's a passing gas. Actually, let's go here. Change of plans. Let's go in here first. It's a bit smaller. And I'll probably have more time. There's one Darren. It's not a Darren. Oh, it's two. There is a Darren. Sneaky Daz. Ooh, that looked messy. Okay, let's see if we've got the uh, magazines we're looking for. It's 
scrapping? Ah, uh, not quite, but uh, that's okay. Okay, so no luck on the magazines for the vehicles, unless there's some in the vehicles themselves. There's only one. Come on, vehicle magazine. Bow hunters? I'll take it. And an armament up as well. Time was getting away from me, so I quickly left the gas station in search of a place to spend the night. When I came across an electric co substation. So I'm thinking this building here is not too bad. It's um shouldn't be too busy. Maybe I'll just quickly clear it out and uh, we'll go upstairs and we'll set up some base for tonight. Just for tonight though. Might be useful to have somewhere to live in the city just in case we need to anyway. So maybe I will set it up half decently. Let me get in. This could be a really bad idea, but we'll see how we go. That ragdoll is so good. I want to go up to be safer. Hey, Candy. Okay, I think my best bet is to just go up right now. Oop. Okay. Okay, so we made it to the roof, but now it's raining and... Oh, I don't know. What we're gonna do is I'm just gonna hold out up here for the night and I'll, um... I'll see you tomorrow morning, when it's a bit safer. The Zambies just kept coming. Just moving inside the building and loaded Zambi after Zambi. I was exhausted, and I was starting to make mistakes. I did my best to stay quiet and wait until the morning. felt safe enough to loot the rest of the building. But the night wasn't done with me yet. It's nearly morning, so I'm not sure where they came from. They were just sort of standing out here. There's another one. At least it can't run now. Come on. Is 
another one. So there's two more. It must have been a horde. Ooh. And a loot bag. Awesome. So anyways, I also found last night... Uh, oh, it's upstairs. One second. I found one more uh, vehicles magazine, as well as a stun baton. Um, I've got a whole bunch of crap here that I really don't... Let's read that wiring magazine. Should we make this place... I don't think I want to make this place my my sort of semi-base in the city. I'll have to find another one, I think, because this one's just kind of... Bad juju, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so the very first thing I want to do this morning is find myself a city hideaway or a city base that I can use when I'm when I'm down here with Joel. I'll have a look around and I'll show you what I find. I rode around for a while when something tall and thick caught my eye. This clock tower was surrounded by a solid brick fence that could easily be closed off to protect against the zombies. But what made it even more appealing was the fact that my safe house could be high up off the ground. For some reason, being elevated in a survival situation makes me feel more relaxed. I cautiously entered the clock tower to decide if it could function as a safe house. Oh. No, oh, I see. Is this some kind of like... Is this some kind of like sniper's area or something? Oh, a bit strange, isn't it? Uh, Shotgun Weekly? I'm going to use this as my little, uh, my little base. I've got a box here, let's put that down and put our stuff in it and get the day started. And the city safe house was born. I decided to quickly tidy up some of the broken wall before I started my search for vehicle magazines. When something unexpected happened. Well, that was stupid. I was okay, but my safe house was now missing a roof. I cleaned up the mess I had made, then headed down to start the day. I'm really liking this bell tower. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna fix up the fence all the way around this, give it a bit more protection as well, just to keep the zombies away, and then we'll make this our um, our city hideaway. Where is the zombie? Hi. Dazza! So how are we going for our books? We really only need... Three more books. I think it's time to go to the Cracker Book place. And let's get those three books and let's get this uh, mini bike started. There is Cracker Book. Okay, here we are, my first Cracker Book store. This is going to be massive. It's going to be a lot of books. I should surely, surely be able to find, you know, three vehicle magazines in here. But we'll see. Candy. And there's one already. Okay, good start. I probably, sh I probably don't even need to do the Cracker Book, but I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, because none of the traders seem to want to give me the job. So, how do I get in? Probably the hole in the wall. That would be a good place to start. I decided the easiest way to attack the Cracker Book was to wake up all the zombies and take them outside. Come on out, team. Come this way. If you could. Preferably one at a time. Okay, so I think we're pretty much clear to uh, loot up now. So let's find these books and uh, get the hell out of here. Let's get the shit out of me. Oh, there's a dog here somewhere. Bye.
Oh. Let me just shut that. There's the dog. I found the dog. Need to get rid of you. And the main loot. Okay, cool. Who is breaking stuff downstairs? That's very annoying. Alrighty, so we are done at the uh, Cracker Book and look at what we got. But the question is, did we get enough vehicle magazines? We wanted three, I think. So let's go. We got four. Awesome. So let's read them now. We can do the mini bike, oil and gas. Nailed it. Nailed it. And two to spare. So I'm going to go through the rest of these. Um, no, it's nothing too important. I've already done, you know, you've already seen me go through these. Awesome. So we've got ourselves a base, which is a little bell tower up here. And now we can build the mini bike. So that's going to be the first thing we're going to do. We're going to go back home, build ourselves a mini bike and go from there. And we have it crafting. We also have the cement mixer. We're here. We're about to make a shitload of cement. I thought I had to make, sorry, concrete. I thought I had to make cement first, but it turns out I could just make, unless I had cement. Anyway, either way, I'm getting a whole bunch of that stuff and soon we'll have the mini bike. But now, cause it is day 14 and it's going to be another blood moon tonight. I look a horde. Let's go sort that out first. <laughs> So I'm feeling pretty confident about tonight, but I do need to do some things for the base. I need to finish my design that I started on this side and carry around the back. I think I've got enough uh, cobblestone to do that. So we'll basically copy this on the other side. I did notice the other night though, because I had some Zambies rock up. They were standing on this part. So I need to put something here. I'll have to think about that while I'm doing it. But um, yeah, so basically for the rest of today, I really need to shore up the base and get ready for tonight. So let's do that. Okay, so that's pretty much it. All I'm going to do for the base for now. I'm running out of time, but that looks better than it was before. I don't love the top pointy bits here, but we'll see how they go tonight. Hopefully these side pieces will keep the zombies running up here, and that'll all be good. I still want to make at least the front of my fighting area uh, concrete. So uh, let me just see how we're going with the concrete, and I want to upgrade that before it gets too late. This definitely wants to be concrete. Because if I lose this, I haven't got a secondary backup. I think the plan later on is to make a backup uh, fighting position. Uh, until then, I'm going to stick with this. Okay, so let's go inside and do the inside parts, and that's pretty much it. Is my bike ready? It is. Okay, we'll play that later. We haven't got time. We have bigger problems currently. Let's do these. And everything else can remain cobblestone. Awesome. Let's get it prepared for tonight, and then we'll wait for this horde. Let's do this. Hold off on the boosters just yet. Well, I could take a learning elixir actually. That's probably a bad, not a bad idea. Let me just shut this. Let's take our learning elixir now. And we can double our XP and get straight back into it.
I can't hear him hitting on the base, otherwise I could take a bit of damage. Let's uh, close that and heal up a bit. I'm also hungry. Let me just quickly get something to eat. And I might take the Mega Crush now. And let's also do Skull Crushes. Alright, straight back into it. hear any birds at all. Uh, I don't think there are any. Might be a bit later on though. They're still fault filtering through. I think the, the ramps are working nicely. They're not really staying around the bottom like they were before. Be it. How do we go for damage? Let's go steal. Okay, so it is morning, and I'm uh, just doing a bit of repairs around the base that was inside before I head outside. And luckily, none of my puppies were injured, which is the main thing. So let's start getting these loot bags, and I'll see what the damage is. Oh, I completely forgot to upgrade these. These are still, uh... Anyway, this is everything I got from that, from the loot bags. Nothing too exciting. The handy land there, armored up magazine. I got a, a barrel extender mod. Um, uh, shotgun weekly. And a um, handgun magazine. And a treasure map too. So let's read that. It's that way. In terms of damage. Uh, not too bad. A couple of the ones down here were pretty badly damaged. I think I'm going to upgrade these ones to concrete, pretty much because they do take the most damage. Uh, but I'll, I'll figure that out later. And in terms of these, these are a little bit damaged as well, but nothing too bad. And other than that, it's pretty much spotless. With another successful Horde Knight out of the way, there was just one thing left to do. Just kidding. It actually sounds like this. G'day survivors. Oh. One second. We're right with you on one second, team. As I was saying, how's it going? It's been a while since we've talked, uh, and a lot's happened since the last time you've seen me in this uh, situation. I have redone the base, I've painted the base, I've removed the fence around the base. As well as that, I also made myself a full set of iron armor, so I'm looking pretty, pretty schnazzy. And currently, I'm down underneath uh, the road, so I'm, I'm just near where I was when I went to the uh, Cracker Book store, and I found this little sewer system. And I know there's some zombies down here because I can hear them. Uh, I could hear them grunting when I was doing the Cracker Book store. So, oh, there's loot here. Hey, mate. So this is a nice little thing. Look at that stuff in there. So I've also done a fair bit of questing in between uh, renovating the bases. But it was nothing too exciting, so I've 
Haven't shown you any of that. Let's get rid of this. I see a little arm there. Take that. That can't be it, surely. Oh, well, screw you. Oh, I see you down there. I've actually got the, um, oh, it's leveled up. I've actually got the uh, string mod on this bow now, so it's actually going a lot straighter than it was before, so I need to sort of adjust for that now. Oh, I see you. Nice. Oh. Look at all in there. Chilling with their radiation. Alrighty, I think we're, um, this is a cool little find. There's more. Well, how far does it go? So this is all under the street. Uh, you wouldn't even know it was there. Southern farming. Ooh, big hitters. I can actually make the steel club, but it's only level one, so I was going to wait for another few, a few more levels to actually make the steel club. Um, that'll be exciting because I've never actually made the steel club before, so that'll be a first. Should I get that? Nah, can't be asked. It doesn't end. Hello? Ooh. Okay, we are definitely in uh, uncharted territory. I don't know where this is going to come out. I was going to say, surely there's someone in here. Hey, buddy. Oh, that's embarrassing. I'm going to stop using this. Just make me look bad, boys. Well, worse. I don't know if they can, they must be able to hear me, but they can't get to me, so, well, for now. You know what he's doing? I reckon he's just walking around above me, trying to get to me. Like doing circles, like an idiot. Ooh. Oh, I see what you're banging on. If I let this, will you fall down? Do you like what you see? Piss off. Oh no, he's on me. Where am I? Okay, so yeah, the Cracker Book's over here and my bike is over here. Wow, that's cool. There you go. Didn't even see this before, but uh, there it is. Moral of the story, look out for manholes because they lead to goodness. Nailed it. So tonight, we actually have a quest I want to do. We're going to do a restore power, which is the first one I've done ever. So that'll be interesting. We're going to do that at night time and we've also got to clear at the Cracker Cafe. Now, the reason I want to do the Cracker Cafe, even though I've done the Cracker Book right here, is because I want to get the chemistry station. We're going to run out of fuel for this little bikey boo fairly soon. I've got a little bit. I've broken down a lot of cars. Actually, I might get these. That's perfect timing. That is the best awkward thing. Any I'm going to take my frustration out on YouTube. I don't feel any better. So as I was saying before I embarrassed myself, we're going to do a tier 3 clear at the Cracker Cafe, so I'll meet you over there. What up Timbo? True, true, nice, nice. And I think we are, yes, we are here, the Cracker Cafe. Now I want to get as many uh, forge your heads as I possibly can so we can get that chem station, so let's do it. Um, how do I want to do this? Do I want to just wake them all up again? Let's just do that. I'm gonna run through. How are you? Whoopsie doodle. Ouch. Surely that can't be all. Somehow I missed you. Oh, hello. I'm always worried there's going to be a Zambi in these, in these shitters. It has never been yet, but one day there will be, and I will shit my pants. I am really sucking right now. What is happening? Let's just focus for a second. All right. We're a little bit worked up. We had a good time painting. Now we're doing some quests again, I'm a little bit rusty. Holy shit, that cop just spat at me, you mother copper. Uh oh. 
Right, that could have gone much better, but anyway, it is what it is. Ooh, let's make a plan first, because I guarantee if I drop down here, I will have many friends. And just like that. Oh, damn it. Straight for the door. That's, that works for me. Do I have any? Yes, I do. Hey, friends. Oh, damn it. That's better. Cool. Hmm. There's a lot of stuff at this Cracker Book Cafe. Okay, we've cleared the area, but we have to loot now. So I'm going to go through and loot, and I'll show you exactly what I got afterwards. Because this might take a little second. Alrighty, that's pretty much all I really wanted out of the uh, cafe here. Uh, let me just check some of this, and why not? Um, I don't think I'm going to find anything else around it, other than some crap. So, the question is, do we have enough to have the chem station yet? Let's find out. Let's go straight to the forger heads. We got two. That's not awesome. Damn it. And the rest of the stuff is just a smattering of crap, the usual stuff. Okay, that's disappointing, but how many do I need? So workstations to get the chem station, we are at 44. Okay, so only six more. Where will we find six more forger heads? I'll have to have a think about that. But until then, we'll go back to uh, whoever that is. We'll get the quest reward and we'll take all the stuff and stash it at home. You get to swing by the new look base. You can have a good look from, from the outside. Look at that. Isn't that majestic? Um, I'm gonna park... Oh, I missed... Is that paint? Oh no, I painted a line by accident. Oh well, it's a bit of a, bit of a spill there. So I'm gonna stash all my stuff, we'll go to Jen's. And it is Jen. And we'll give the... we'll get the Crest Reward and we'll... Carry on, I still need more... more books. You little okay, so wherever to Jen's, I've decided to do a massive sell-off while I'm here. Um, I was going to repair all the stuff and sell it to Jen and do all that stuff. I can't be asked. I am so glad to see your face. Thanks. I get lonely sitting by myself all day. Oh, we can't have that, can we, Jen? Amazing. Can't have that, can we? I hope Jen? you like your reward. Can't have that. Oh, it's done, baton, but I really don't need that. Let's go. Um, uh, ooh, uh, yeah. yeah, okay, AP. Sure, even though I can make it, but why not? Uh, let's get another job over here. Um... Where would be somewhere on the... I need... I need... COC chem... Is that cock? Does that say cock chemicals? Let's do You're it. We have to do it dukes? now. There oh, may be some forger heads there. Like, I don't know. Um, you know, apocalypse hygiene and yeah, all. Yeah, alright, Jen. Don't make me feel any worse. So, I'm going to sell this stuff to Jen. As I said, I'm not going to bother doing all the repairing and shit. I just can't be asked. So, let's go... Now! Oh yeah, so I forgot you can't sell more than the one or two items to a trader at once. That's why I can't sell these. I forgot about that. I'll take them home. And nice little haul there. And Thank you so much. Oh, it's also... Come again. I think I've... I haven't been back for a while, so I think it has been trader day. So let's double check, see what she's got. Forge your heavy, nice. No, but I'll take away your scrapping for fun. That's only one. Oh, an anvil. I will buy that as well. That'll help me craft stuff a bit quicker. Bunch of uh, pipe bombs there. I could probably make them, but they're, I just feel like buying them is just a lot easier. There's a forgetting elixir. I'm not really sure I'm going to bother with the forgetting elixirs. I know it's a thing you can do to, like, game, but... I'm enjoying it so far, so let's leave the way it is. Let's, let's do it then. naturally. Now, now what are we doing? I don't know. Let's have a think about what we're going to do, and I'll get back to you in a second. I need to find Fort Your Head magazines. I mean, we could go do the cock place. That sounds like fun. Bugger it, let's go do the cock. Let me just put this stuff away and I'll go do the cock. Stop saying cock. Alrighty, we're here at Cock Chemicals. What a fun name. So, let's do it. I don't know if I'm going to find any uh, forger heads, but we'll find out soon enough. Oh, this looks very dangerous. Alright. Well, we're in it to win it. Hey, bud. Oh, 
I don't trust it. Did that wake you up? I wasn't even near you. Anyway. I haven't seen any birds for a while. Uh, I spoke to you soon. Come on, boys, batter up. Home run. Well, you are stupid. Where's the satchel? Can I not get you? Yeah, get out of here. Hmm. Oop. Oh, that'll do. I've got a feeling if I drop down here, it's going to wake up some zombies, so. Oh, I didn't even get a chance. Oh, hello, everyone. Ah, oh, so I thought these were acid barrels, but I think they're just barrels. No, I could be wrong. I don't know. I haven't got any acid yet. Maybe they're not acid barrels. Ah, let's get the main loot while we're here. There's some acid. I just spilled water all down my shirt because I'm very good at drinking. No one said I wasn't Gumby. See? That was... That, 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 that was a hatch on top of a hatch. What, why? Why would you do that? Anyway. This is everything I got from that. Uh, medical journal. Two scrubbing for fun. I can make a ratchet quality too. That's probably a good idea. Vehicle book. Tech junkie. Uh, electrical traps, wiring 101, handy land. I'm not going to use that one and the rest. Ooh, a treasure map. Uh, which is, where is that treasure map? Oh, right there. That's hard to see. And I think we're done here. So let's head back to Jen. Uh, get rid of this cock quest and we'll go from there. I still need to find some uh, forge ahead books, but um, we're getting there. How do I get out? Ah. Hello, Jen. You're looking kind of rough. Congratulations. Wow. I can make my payment to the Duke now. I'm going to do the skill magazine bundle purely because I'm hoping they got some forge heads in them. I don't know, maybe. Ooh, special jobs. Uh, let's. We're always looking for some adventurous souls. South. Hurry back soon. Eh. And I'll have a nice reward for you. So I really need to think about how we're going to get some forge head magazines. Um. Let me do that and I'll get back to you. So let's go back to the base, stash this stuff. And it's getting kind of late anyway. And we'll go from there. And in that magazine bundle I just opened then, um, well, I got from Jen, was two forger heads. Still can't make anything. Okay, tools digest and wiring 101. I can make steel tools quality three. That's a win. Cool. So I'm thirsty and I'm hungry. Let me get that into me and then we're going to make a plan. After doing some crafting and thinking about my situation, I decided my best chance of finding some Forge Ahead magazines was finding a construction site with cement mixers. Cement mixers often have Forge Ahead magazines inside them, and I think this was my best chance to find the magazines I needed. Ooh. Construction site. Oh. Oh, I, I've... I'm rusty. Come in hot. Surely there's gonna be some in here. Hey, that's new. Fort bites, taking that one. Hello. So we need four. I'm going for four. Four magazines, please. Uh oh. This is bad. Why won't you die? Right. Let's get rid of that uh, abrasion. Okay, now we're looking for three. Three Forge Ahead magazines. I 
don't know how many cement mixes are going to be around here, but I may as well check the entire building now that I've committed. I'm going to take my time with this one because I kind of want them to be asleep if I can. Get some um, sneak attacks. Because it is night time, I don't want them running too much. But I'll do what I can. Yes. Chemistry station. Just like that, we have the chem station. Wow. Okay, that was actually easier than I thought. So, nice one. No, all I gotta do is get down without dying. And we are sitting pretty. That time perfectly. Like in Shawshank Redemption. Okay, so I'm pretty much done with this um, construction place. There's probably stuff up there, but I can't be asked. So let's go to... I need to go home and fix my... Um, infection. I can't go to the uh, bell tower base because I don't think... I don't have any meds there. So it looks like we're going home. No, we could do. We'll go to the treasure chest. The, the buried treasure. And then we'll go home and get ourselves some meds. I just jumped Jimmy. <laughs> ah, take that, Jimmy. Get grinded on. Ah. Hey, here it is. And a bunch of shit, except 6,000 dukes. That's not too bad. A level 6 pipe bomb. Uh, I mean, uh, shotgun. Okay, let's get our blocks. Let's go home and fix my, um, my sickness. Ah. That worked out well. Mmm, fuel. Like I have the chemistry station now, so let's put this out. I've got to make it first, don't I? Can't even make it. Beaker? Oh no, that might be what's going to hold me. And cooking pots. Oh, I've been scrapping them. Bugger. Cooking pot. Three of them, please. That's easy. Um, the beaker. The beaker. I thought I found a beaker. I could be wrong. No, maybe that was another time. Okay, so let's take these antibiotics. Get rid of that uh, infection. I'm also hungry, so let's do that. Perfect. Okay, so looks like we're going to do one thing, and that is go find ourselves... A beaker, because that's all we need to make the chem station, I do believe. Let's do a trader run and see if we can find anyone with a beaker, and if they do, we are... We're in luck. If you got the dukes, I'll make the time. Beaker me. Ah, oh, No luck. Damn it. Sorry, Jen. I didn't do anything. But, um, we need to go to the other traders and get ourselves a beaker. That's our number one goal. Who are we banging? Okay, let's go get Joel and then Hugh. Surely one of them has a beaker. Come on, beaker. Nope. We're going to use. There she is. The clock tower. Has a run out of fuel. Again. I only do business with real customers. <laughs> Alright, we're holding off on the uh, chemistry station for a little bit. It seems. So I was sitting up in my uh, clock tower base here and having, having a good think about my beaker situation and I realized something, because I'm an idiot, of course the uh, traders aren't going to have the beaker. You have to go and find the beaker. You can't craft the beaker. The traders aren't going to sell it to you. You've got to go and find it. And then I realized I found a poppin' pills. Surely that's the best place to go and find a beaker at. So we're going to head to the poppin' pills, we're going to go through it, and we're going to get ourselves a beaker. So let's get downstairs and get on it. Someone's beating on something out here. Who's this? Oh! Craigie! What's up, Craigie? Oh, he dropped a bag for me. Nice. Knife guy. Never used that, but anyway, thanks, bud. Oops. Oops. This is like a scene out of uh, Austin Powers. Can 
Anyways, to the poppin' pills. See you there. Here's we are, poppin' pills. Pop and pills. How do we get in? What's up, Shaz? How you doing? See you later. Alright. So this is not a quest, obviously, but we're gonna go in here and we're gonna definitely find ourselves a beaker. So let's just get on in. I have no idea what to expect. I may regret this. Hey friends. Guys are good. I'm not really here to loot, but I'm gonna take uh, the good stuff, you know? I may as well while I'm here. Well, of course, what I really want is a beaker. I'm assuming they're gonna be in the pop and pill boxes or um Find you. Or even maybe um, some of the uh, like garage boxes, maybe. So that's what I'm really looking for, uh, as opposed to just taking all the loot, because this place is massive. Whoa! You are a snippy one. Damn it. Never encumbered at night. That's going to come in really handy tonight because we have actually have a um, restore power job I want to do tonight. So never be encumbered at night. And look a safe. That's the first time I actually found a safe by knocking over pitches. I should do it more. And with our points into safe uh, breaking, that was actually easier. Ooh, excellent. Oh, jeez, Louise, you came out of nowhere, bud. Yeah, I'm, I'm really bad at swearing when I get startled. It just comes out as super polite. It's not my intention. I've never said jeez, Louise, in my life. Ooh. Oh, how did that wake you up? Really? Ah, well. Can hit the zombies. Can't see the zombies. Oh, that's going to open, isn't it? It's extremely quiet. Oh. Oh. Oh gosh. Did it again. Damn it. Where did you come from? Man. Scared the shit out of me. Come on, bigger. Nope. No bigger. Surely one of these has a bigger. Come on. Come on. Hey, we got our beaker. Technically, we could go. Um, I might as well see what else is around here because I'm already started. Nope. That was a bad idea. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Hey, buddies. That's, uh, this is bad. This is bad. Take that. Surprise. Oh, radiated. Oh god, you came out of nowhere. That got him. Ooh. Okay. I think I could. I, if I throw a pipe bomb... One over there, one over here, but don't light them. I have to go with this one, I think. It's going to be the easiest one. So let me try and snag a couple of these. Alrighty, let's do this. Cool. That worked. Might as well see if I can find another beaker just in case I need another one. I mean, while we're here. Um, apart from that, I don't really need anything 
else. I could take these home. I've already encumbered those, so maybe not. Uh, we'll come back for them. If I feel like I want them later. Oh, shit! Son of a gun. Okay. Who's spitting? Is that you, Big Mama? Time for some boomies, I think. It's you. Not good. Cheeky, cheeky. Holy shit, this place keeps going. You okay? <laughs> How did you hit me from there? Ah. Getting a bunch of, uh, bunch of ferals. place is massive. It's way bigger than I thought it was going to be, but that's okay. We're here now, so if I could find another beaker, that'd be handy. Uh, so far, just the one. Another feral. Ah! Ah, stop doing this! Panicking! Panicking! Oh my god, panicking! 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 Oh, I'm out. Ferals. So many ferals. Ow. Ferals. Dang it. They call me Fumbles. From now on, everyone shall call me Fumbles because I've been fumbling the last entire, well, the entire episode, let's be honest. Ah! I hated that. I hate this. I hate this. I'm out. I'm out. Oh no. Bad, 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 bad. Not good, not good. Not good. Bad. This is bad. Did I get him? Stay down. Jesus. Just to go. I really wasn't prepared for this, but I just kind of found it because I just wanted my beaker. I just wanted a beaker. You know? Who would have thunk in this one room would be all of that? Surely there's no more surprises like that. Right? Are you sure about that? Okay, can I leave now? Can we go home? Are we done? I think we're done. Is there more? There's more. There can't be more. Are you serious? Oh, I'm in it now. Surely there's another beaker in here. Please give me another beaker at least. Oh, what was that? Oh, you're scary. Oh, that's scary. Now, I did see some zombies on the top of these uh, ducts uh, in the next room I'm in here. So it's going to be a bit of a fight on our hands. Let's make sure we are loaded. And... See if I can get some stealthy hits. Is that a, is that a horde upstairs? Oh, no. Okay, that woke him up. I can hear him all around me, though. Oh, well, time to fight. Alright. So I'm going to get him here. Then I'm going to use some pipe bombs. So I'm going to put one there. Two there. Three there. Four there. Did that work? 
Maybe? Where are they? Oh my god, they're up here. If you could just fall down one at a time, that'd be awesome. definitely hoard upstairs. Okay, there's a whole bunch of loot here and I have nowhere near enough room for all this, so let's just grab what we can and get the hell out of here. Yes, another beaker. Awesome. And two treasure maps. Alrighty. Oh my god, there's more! What have I done? Alright, I'm just gonna get out of here, I think. I think it's time to go. Uh oh, this is bad. This is real bad. Time to go. Time to go. Ah! This is bad. This is so bad. I gotta get out. I gotta get out. I gotta go. Run, run, run. This is bad. I might die here. I don't wanna die here. I don't wanna die here. Ah, oh, damn it! Stop it! Okay, this is bad. Oh no! Really? Die. All right, I gotta go. I'm done. Come on, bro. I'm out. I'm outy. That was too hot. Uh, nope. No thanks. I think we're good. I got a broken arm, I'm infected, and it's nearly night time, so it's a good time to leave that one. That was way bigger than I thought it was gonna be. I got two beakers out of that, I think. I did have two beakers. Oh no, I think I put one- I think I put one in here. I think we're good. Yes, I did. Okay, we still got two beakers. That's good enough for me. Let's get the hell out of here. You know what? Let's go get this, uh, airdrop while we're in the area. Then we'll head home. And I'd really like to do a restore power job, but I think that might wait till tomorrow night. Purely because I'm not in the best shape right now, and I think I just need a rest. Forge your head. Awesome. And I've got no room for anything, of course. Goodbye, city. Okay, so we're back at the uh, base. It's raining and lovely. We're making the chem station. So... Mission accomplished. I should haven't checked these in a while. I should probably get all these out. Uh, what else did I want to do? I wanted to go inside and open these. That's right. So let's open what these are. So I got a shotgun turret. That's handy. And a traps magazines. Three of them. Let's open this one. We've got two forger heads. Bow hunters. And sticks. Uh, I might just sell them to be honest. And then the last one was a farm bundle. So we got... Some farming magazines, I got some farm plots and some seeds. Awesome stuff. That total come in handy actually. Uh, I do have a generator downstairs. I built a generator the other day, which is another thing I forgot to mention. But I don't... I mean, I could use a lot of fuel to run it. Maybe I'll run it for um, horde, day, uh, horde night and I'll put that turret somewhere. Maybe on the roof. I'm kind of expecting some birds soon, so maybe that, that'll be handy. I'll put the turret on the roof, fill it full of shotgun shells. How many of them do I have? Uh, not a million, but I can make some more, so that's something I should do right now. So while I'm doing some crafting and uh, getting through the night, uh, I'll let you go and I'll see you tomorrow and we'll we'll carry on. After I get rid of these. That's just Craig. See you, Craig.
so I've got this tier 3 infestation here. So I might as well do that at the Jensen residence. And I believe that's for Jen, because it's tier 3. And that'll be a good start to the morning. So let's head over there and get that done. Right, so here we are at the Jensen residence. Let me just see what's around. And then I'm going to hit this. Let's hit this now. I'm going to check for the... Should have a letterbox somewhere. Hey, buddy. See ya. Yes, here we go. Paper. Totally not worth it. And let's do this. Little radiated there. Radiated Sharon. Any more? Oh how? Uh oh, it's going bad already. Uh oh. Well, this is not going well. I'm not going well at all. Run, 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 run! Boy, that escalated quickly. Could not have gone worse. Hey, bud. You're the first person I shot. Are you still not dead? Why won't you die? Damn. Right. Anywho, so I have a bit of an infection here, but that's okay. We, we got some honey back home uh, if I got time. Well, maybe I'll find some in here, but I don't know. So let's see what we got in here and uh, see if we can salvage this. This is where the problem was. I uh, didn't mean to wake up uh, the zombies in here, so that's exactly where I went wrong. I should have just, you know, went in like normal and it would have been fine. What is this? Blueberry plant. Can I harvest that? I can't. Ooh, what were these? Ah, uh, just normal skiggles. Cool. I already have a pair of them, so it's not too exciting. I think I sold another pair I had as well. Which I'll probably do with these, these pair. How did you wake up? Got some rascals upstairs. Let me just sort them out because that's going to annoy the shit out of me. Where are you? Come here. Just one. One Jono. Why did he sound like it was over there? Anyway, weird. So I can't loot these barrels, which, um... I thought there is a lot of torches in here which I could take. Ah! Oh. Oh. What an unexpected find. Um, now I'm good for candles. Bugger it. I did see some juicy loot down here, though. Ooh. Eh, mine's better. Shotgun Weekly. Southern Farming. And some ammo. Awesome. What's in here? Ooh, tricky. Pays to uh, have a look around. Sometimes, because I probably nearly walked out just then. 
really love some antibiotics, but, you know, is what it is. Bow hunting. Okay, so we're not done with the zombies just yet. But I believe that was the uh, main loot, so we have to go upstairs, I do believe. Forge head. Nice. Oh! Jesus Christ! Oh, man. My heart. Where did you come from? Oh. Jesus. Jesus, H. Christ. Well, the demolishers, we had to go anyway. We hadn't much a choice in the matter, but sure. It's a I'd cold, have... it's a cold journey to school this morning. Oh, good, you wouldn't belong getting frost, but. Do we still got some zombies somewhere? Ooh, there's a ladder there. I come back to that. Oh. Yes. that way, that's for sure. Tricky, tricky. Okay, that's the first time I've seen uh, landmines in the POI, but I'm sure they, they might have been around, I just haven't noticed them. But yeah, cool. That's terrifying. Well, that was extremely messy, but uh, we got there in the end. Oh, that's right, there was some loot in here I wanted to get. Come on, meds. No. Damn. Anyway, that was a horrible experience. Let's head back to Jen and uh, get our reward. Hey Jen, that was a shit uh, job. Don't spend it all in one place. Oh, pump shotty. Make sure it's here. I think I have to go with that. I think I have to go with the pump shotgun. And do you have any, uh, antibiotics slash... Yeah, I'll just have that. And while I'm here, let's get a job. Uh, oh, there's a restore power I could do after. Um, so let's do the fetch and clear out the working stuff to, uh, Superstore. And we'll do that after the horde night tonight. But what's the time? Actually, I need these medic... Uh, let's take this these meds now. Let's get rid of that. And it's probably getting late. Do I have time for another one? I don't think I do. Grab some sugar butts while I'm here. I could come back for this. Maybe we should. I'll see what's... Actually, I'll see what I got in the base, and I might come back and grab that learning elixir for tonight. I really don't know what to expect for tonight. Um, I have the turret that you saw at the start of the video that I installed on the roof, and that'll take care of any vultures that do appear during a horde night. In terms of the shotgun... The pump shotgun is better, so I'm going to use that from now on. So let's get rid of these mods. And put them on to the pumpy. I do believe I could make... I might make the... Um, what was it called? The the shotgun tube extender mod. I believe I can use that for any pump shotguns. Okay, so increase the magazine. I want to make that. Can I make that? I think I can. So let's get one of them going. And that'll be good for tonight as well. So we've got recog, uh, mega crushes... Eye candies, sugar butts, learning elixirs five. Okay, we got plenty of them, so I won't go back and get them from Jen. And I think we're good. I think we're just gonna get ready for tonight, and that's pretty much it. I have to remember to turn on the turret or turn on the generators this time. Oh, I got stuff in the bike too. Don't forget that. Okay, this is ready, so let's put that on the pumpy. And I should be able to reload by uh, three more rounds. Eleven, nice. Cool, so we got 11 in the shoddy. Um, I'm feeling pretty good about tonight, actually. So, I mean, famous last words, but I'm feeling pretty good. Let's, let's, I don't know. Let's see how we go. Actually, let's make sure everything's working with this uh, generator now. So if I go in here and turn this on, I should um, have the turret running, which I can hear. And my sign should be on. Yep, open for business, which is uh, exactly what's happening tonight. We're open for, uh, for skull crushing. Ah, look at that. We're open for business tonight. I was thinking about taking all the spikes away, but I haven't decided. Maybe I'll take them down. They are kind of ugly. Let's take them down. Right, so that looks much better. Um, I'm pretty confident this, this one turret will actually do the job, so I won't bother putting the other turret up there. I'll keep that for spares. Um, so we we got some time left. What can we do in the meantime? 
Ah, so I had another treasure map that I might as well read now. So we might as well go do that now. Get that out of the way. And then we'll come back and see what time it is. I don't think there's enough time to do the... Uh, what was it? The... Oh. Uh-oh. We got a screamer. Yep. We got some zombies spawning in. Hit on, love. Just the one scream. God, you're ugly. What's up, Shaz? Oh, a horde. That's not from the screamer. That's, that's just a horde. Okay, bring it on in. Let's get this done. There you are. Did you get a scream off then? I don't think you did. So I think we're good. Okay, this time I might use the blocks because I do think it's a bit easier than, uh, than last time. Uh, purely because whenever it changes circles, you can sort of see which way to go. So let's put one there. One there. One there, and one here. And then I start digging. Ah, there we go. Jeez, that took a lot longer than I was expecting, but uh, we good. So it's 1800, so we need to get back to the base pretty soon, and the lightning has started. Okay, bit of ammo there. That's pretty handy. I'll grab that and see if we've got any zombies. Sound like it. Maybe zombies don't come out in treasure maps, but I'm sure I've seen them before in treasure maps. Anyway, nothing again. So let's get back to the base and get ready for tonight. Okay, so I'll put the uh, bike away in my, my new garage. Just keep it safe during the horde night. And that should be all buttoned up nicely. So, let's double check that I've done everything on the base. I think I'm good. I don't think I need any repairs. I think I've done all of that before. So basically, let's turn everything on and let's just wait for the horde. Right, so Jen is about to shut up. I have the generator on. Everything's ready to go. So let's make sure we got some ammunition and all our weapons. And we're good to go. Bring on the horde. So the horde is here, let's get ready and eat some... What are we going to do first? Let's do Recog. Use one of them. Let's do a coffee. And let's do a learning elixir as well. So let's get that XP in and uh, let's start it off with the bang. Uh, Pumpy's just carving through them. This is amazing. Bit of an abrasion. Let's fix that real quick. And back into it. shoddy now. One thing I forgot to do completely was to use up some points. So let's quickly do that now. Um, I didn't think to look beforehand because I was pretty distracted. So what can we do? Let's get one into Boomstick and let's just put the rest into uh, Strength. 
Ah, uh, can't do any more. Okay, what else can we do? And minus 69 for the last one. All right, let's get back into it. Can't let that cop spit. Bit of a break in the wave here. Let's go back to some melee. Let's take a skull crusher. That'll help us out with the uh, bat. Oh, couple of cops. Let's go back to the uh, shoddy for these. A chore worker then. That might be it. Okay, let's go and turn off this generator so we're not wasting too much fuel. And I think we're good. I hope you survived another another horde night. Ah, uh, we're back at this shithole again. Remember this from the last episode? Yeah, we're back. So we're back at this horrible place because I want to climb this chimney up here and see if I can see uh, where the desert biome is. We need some shale and we need some fuel, so to find that I need to find out where the uh, desert area is. Hopefully from the top up there I can get a good view and uh, hopefully I can see some desert, so let me just get up there and we'll go from there. Oh, there's a ladder there. Hmm, how am I going to get up here properly? I think I might just have to uh, nerd pull it up, I think. Can't really think of another way to get up. I mean, I could go inside and go all the way through the uh, POI again and then come out the chimney. Because there's a ladder here, but I really don't want to, so let's not do that. Okay, so can I actually see any desert biome? No. Crap, that was a waste of time. I think I could see some snow that way, but I'm pretty sure I already know where the snow is, and I have no idea where the, where the uh, desert is, so let's just get down and, and see if we can... No! 